Boom! What's up internet? Josh Miles here and I'm finally back with another new video. I've been traveling so much this spring and summer. It's just been kind of nuts. And speaking of travel, I've got a really cool product that I want to show you that I found out about during one of my recent podcast interviews. Your unboxing video is up next. Hey, welcome back. It is good to see all of you. I am really excited to share some stuff with you. I've been speaking and traveling and going to conferences a lot this summer, and it's just been a ton of travel and no time here in the studio. So speaking of the studio, I hope this looks good to you. This is the very first time that I've worked with some of my new lighting setup. I've got a new recording monitor. I've got some new audio in place. I've got a new color LUT that I'm giving a try. So it's all the nerdy video stuff. So if you're here for the unboxing to hear about Wayfinder, you are in luck. This is not sponsored, but I'm really excited to see what's in this package. I was on Instagram a couple months ago and I found this handle that had started following me called Wayfinder Carry. They were talking about design and how this uh, company had roots from Nike soft goods and doing bags. And so my first thought was it was going to be like a camera bag or something else. And although they may end up doing that kind of work, I don't know for sure, but all of their initial stuff is all travel based. And I want to show you a little bit more. So I had the opportunity to interview their founder and I'll make sure and link to somewhere, I think up here. Is that, yeah, I think that's the right way. I'll link up to the interview where I talk with Harag Nassanian, who's the founder of Wayfinder Carry. His leanings are towards high design and minimalism and really creating things that are great for travelers. At the end of the interview, hey, I wanna send you a package of all of our initial stuff. So um, I was nice enough to interview him. I guess he returned the favor by sending me all of these things and I'm really excited to see what's in here. So let's, let's open this up. It's a very sticky envelope. I love it when companies have a special attention to detail. The packaging, even the packaging is really well considered. It's, it's all this kind of shiny metallic finish and it's all sealed off kind of like you might find, I don't know, something medical. Like this is just really cool packaging for something as simple as what we're looking at. But this is one of the details that Harag told me about on the interview, which is that he includes uh, a boarding pass. That's a really cool, really cool detail. That he would take the time to not only create this uniquely for everybody who buys one of these, but it looks just like a boarding pass. It's printed on boarding pass stock. We've got three of these packages inside, and he included his little uh, bonus notebook. So let's see what's first. It's just sort of a Ziploc style bag. Ooh, okay, so this is the uh, the Daybreaker Billfold Wallet. I don't know about you, but um, my initial wallet use was always very George Costanza-like. And a wallet for your money. Lots of Costanza wallets in my past. This is what I'm carrying today. It's a lot thinner. You can tell that the material itself is fairly thick. Now, just straight out of the box, literally, on this one, this is a much thinner piece. And Harag talks in our um, interview about um, this material and how it gets bonded together, like uh, actually with sound or it's, it's not laser, but it's, it's combining these two things to create this, like this weld. It's almost like a rubbery finish to it. It's very thin, very lightweight. You can fit that boarding pass all the way in the wallet. So if you're running around the airport and carrying on to your your entire family set of boarding passes. I know when it, especially when it's domestic travel, I can usually just scan my phone, but if you're carrying everybody else's paper, it's great to have a wallet that's big enough to fit all that in there. Really nice attention to detail. Just I'm not sure if you can tell so much on there, but it's just a cool texture. Um, and the Wayfinder logo is, is really subtle. All right, so what else do we have here? Number two is the borderless passport and notebook holder. So one of the things that Harag told me in the interview was that, um, you know, obviously you don't need your passport every day, or at least most of us don't. So he wanted something that when you're not using your passport, you could throw a little notebook in there and take this to meetings and have something that's, it's a little bit smaller size than what you're used to. It's pretty cool. Focus, there we go. Some dot paper on the inside. You can toss this. All right, there you go. All 
Ooh, and then this little one is just called the Flux card holder. Nice little slim line, very subtle. So that's the whole family. That's the, the Wayfinder carry set. Now, if you're interested, um, Harag gave me one other thing that I could pass along with our listeners and viewers. Look at this thing. It's, it's huge. And that is if you go to wayfindercarry.com and use the code JoshMiles15, I assume that's gonna be a 15% discount. So give that a try and let me know what you think about it. But tell me in the comments about how you like to travel and um, if size and weight matters to you and if having more minimal gear to travel with is helpful. The other deal that uh, Harag was doing was a giveaway. So if you head over to Instagram and follow at Wayfinder Carry and make a post, make a mention of at Wayfinder Carry and at Obsessed Show, um, he's gonna select somebody at random. So uh, head over to Instagram, follow at Wayfinder Carry and at Obsessed Show, make a post, make a mention of Wayfinder and see if you win the giveaway for that as well. So guys, it's been a minute. I'm glad to be back in front of the camera doing this again. Um, again, we'll get the podcast episode here live really soon, so these two can go live at the same time. You hit like and subscribe down below. Comments are always helpful. I love jumping on here and interacting with people who watch the show. And tell me below what else you'd like to see me do a review or unboxing of. Our typical videos are 59 Second Fridays where we do some marketing and design tips Tips, especially for personal brand. So let us know what you're looking forward to. It's good to see you all again. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.